Today I'm actually feeling really good. I've actually booked in a counselling session a couple of weeks ago. Oh my god, my head was mashed. But as soon as I called them, I felt all right. They're going to think I'm a fraud. But you've got to fill out an assessment of how you're feeling tonight. And I'm just going to be like, I feel great. Hey, everything's going so well. But when it doesn't go well, that's when I break down. I just bury my head in the sand, I block it out and I carry on with my life and then months and months and months down the line I just explode. I think I can't keep doing that or I'm very reckless. I go to drink. Yeah, I just want to break that cycle. Honestly, I don't know what this boy does. In the morning, all the sheets come on. He's a little tosser and turner. One thing I've been doing for a few months now is making my bed every morning and it really does help to start the day. I actually put my face on today because I'm going out for lunch with the girls. I've booked a half day off work because now we're adults, we're finding it hard to find time to spend with each other. So it's got to the point where I have to book time of work and it's my valuable holiday, but they're worth it. This is the one thing that I really want to sort out to my makeup. <laughs> oh, I really just want to have minimal makeup. But when I do put makeup on, it does make me feel, it does make me feel a little bit better. I don't know why though, I really don't. Like even if I'm on my own in the house and I've got makeup on, I just feel better. Quite rare for me to even bloody get dressed. Like seriousness. Sometimes I just roll out of bed, go to work. <laughs> I work from home, by the way. That room's a mess, but no fuck's given. I have to go downstairs. It's like a shit Christmas, isn't it? Oh, what's downstairs? Nothing. Just your computer. Oh, fuck. Make sure you've got a tidy environment. Yeah, I don't. But today's a special day because I've got a half day. I don't really give a shit what kind of work environment I'm in. That's probably why I'm in a good mood today, because I've work, woke up with a purpose um, and something exciting is happening. Mm. I never wake up excited. Does anyone? So, note to self, future Sophie, set this up. That's a desk riser. Walk on that. I used to do that every morning. It's like walk while I was reading my emails. It worked. Like just a little bit of a walk. I'd probably do about half an hour. Because it's Friday, I'm not going to get it out. I'm only working over three hours today, so I mean, it's not really the right attitude, is it? But fuck it! The tree of life. It's a happy tree. And then behind him is the tree of death. I've done a lot of talking today. I had um I had my counselling session today and I went to see my friends and also spoke to them. Oh, I'm fucking knackered. I'm knackered. Stay at home, stay safe. So I'm off to London today to spend the day with my bestie, my soul sister. Yeah, before I go to London I just wanted to go through the counselling session it was more of a review so they ask you like loads of questions and then they pass it all on to your case manager and then your case manager comes back to you and determines what kind of counsel counselling or therapy is needed for you main things that were highlighted alcohol i binge drink and i i think i do it because i'm trying to escape something alcohol came up quite a bit so we're going to look at that I mean, the one that was obvious, not dealing with things properly, uh, how to handle quite heavy events. So my dad, dad, my dad died last year. Maybe I'm not handling that very well now. I did at the time, but probably not so much now. I'm burying it again. And I really don't want to do that with my dad, which then highlighted things that I did when I was in my 20s and I was in this toxic relationship. I've I know that I've brought some bad habits with me from that relationship and how I deal with things and even how I talk to my husband. 
that I need to cover that. And just um, fulfillment, not feeling fulfilled in life. Something else which I'd rather not say, um, but it's just to do with lifestyle. I was so exhausted yesterday because I met up with my friends. We were all just spilling out all this stuff that we'd been up to and what's going on in our mind. Oh, a mind just pow, pow, pow came out. And they were like, well, <laughs> I think I need therapy now. And then immediately after that, I had my review. So I had to like talk again. I'm kind of ahead of myself. I mean, I've had counselling before, so I already know my bad habits. I know what it is I'm doing. I just don't know how to handle it or to make changes going forward. If I ever do get a bit blue or in a black hole, she says, what what helps you to come out of it? Which I, did, I struggled with, but what the, one of the things that came out was that my, my running. She gave me a goal of do a 10 minute run once a week. Today I'm feeling, I am feeling excited. The, the only thing I'm probably a bit worried about, wary, is my alcohol intake. I really don't want to binge today. I really want to just enjoy my alcohol. But I know I'm in good company, so uh, yeah, I think I'll be okay. We'll soon find out. That's it. Off to London now. Bye-bye. went to see the Tina Turner show at the weekend. That was pretty good. In fact, it was fucking awesome. As soon as it started, I started to like well up. It goes into detail about this gift that she's got. It's inside of her, this fire that's waiting to come out. But, oh, I feel like I can relate. Ooh, I feel like I'm holding in something or there's something inside of me that needs to come out. So it just really made me want to sing again myself. Like maybe just want to live. But yeah, I need something I can go to where I'm just releasing my fire. <laughs> releasing my inner fire. My drinking. I mean, I still drank a lot, I'm not going to lie. But I, I'm starting to be more aware of my cutoffs. The point where I'm just drinking for the sake of it. Um, and that's... I want to learn how to know, just know when to stop. And when it's not, and when it's not an enjoyable thing anymore i just want to have a better relationship with alcohol i want to enjoy it again i want to see it as something that enhances rather than see it as thing that i'm doing to try and achieve to get away from reality or i don't know need to look into that a bit deeper but anyway i am getting better i'm i'm knowing my cutoffs i need to cut it off sooner but hey little by little I was messaging my friends about um, about these videos and how they're good on helping me see myself. Like things like my weight and just how I'm looking. I don't feel like my best self, let's put it that way. I imagined my younger self looking at me now at what she would say. And I definitely know she would say, oh, when did you let yourself go? <laughs> definitely know I need to look at my weight and just like little things like my hair I could <laughs> see it looked awful the next day I dyed it put some toner on it and I immediately felt so much better and it's just those little things that I forget about like I'm focusing on big things but there are some little things that I can work on and that are quite easy I need to write them down and Work on them. Oh, and oh my god, you gotta look at this room. Oh, Jay's even shut the door, it's that bad. The tip room. <laughs> I need to sort this room out. I mean, it's got my winter clothes in here, but I was looking through my winter clothes and they're fucking shit. <laughs> Every time I look at myself now, I think of Boris Johnson. <laughs> one, one of my things I keep wanting to do is to wake up early. <laughs> oh, I can't talk today. I actually set up my walker ready for this morning. I need to tidy up later, make my work environment a healthy and clean environment.
feeling um, okay today, apart from a sore throat, got a sore throat, um, but actually just doing myself, I feel, I feel okay. Usually I dread getting up in the morning um, when it's a work day. I don't know why, because my job's not stressful at all. It's just really boring. So I'm just like sitting at my desk for eight hours, doing some simple work, but also sitting in my own head, which is not good. Um, but I'm feeling alright today. I think it's because I know that I'm being productive with myself. I'm starting to get the sweats. I don't know if I'm actually coming down with something now. I've got that to look forward to. Lovely, lovely. I'm going down fast. <laughs> Felt alright this morning. Just I had a sore throat, but now I've got like a fever. I actually had to go to bed. <laughs> Very, very rarely take time off work, but today is the day that I surrender. It was going so well. So, because I've been ill, I've been in bed all afternoon and evening, and I just feel like I'm wasting my, I'm wasting time, and that I could be doing something productive. So, I have actually got my makeup out, and I'm going to sort out what I don't want and put it in the box. There we go. That was easy. <laughs> That's all the shit that I'm throwing away. I have no idea what's brought this on, but I'm actually starting to feel overwhelmed. <laughs> I, you know, I was looking through all the things that I was wanted to change. And there are loads of other things going on up here that I want to do. And it's already overwhelming me. <laughs> I mean, I've already done my makeup. Hooray. But even the thought of writing it down, I don't know why. Think, oh fuck! I mean, everyone always says write it down and then you pick it apart. But I, I don't know how to do that. So that's probably where I need someone who is really good at that, which my sister Maggie is. Or oh, if any of you guys watching this know how to help me with that, I'd really appreciate that. I don't know if it's because I'm tired, but it's even. In that, that tip room, <laughs> there's going to be things, there's going to be things in there that remind me of my dad. And just little things like, um, <laughs> I'm getting some shutters in my living room. In January, and... I've basically, I've got this shelf in the living room that's got like a picture of my dad and things like that. Just a sh my, my dad's shelf. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I'm going to have to take it down <laughs> so that the shutters fit on the wall. <laughs> Sounds ridiculous. <laughs> some things that I hold on to and I know that eventually I'll have to let it go I mean I don't have to I can keep it but <laughs> I mean I'm going to have to take that shelf down I have no choice <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I'll put it back up I don't know I don't know why I'm finding it so hard. <laughs> I think I'm just tired. I really should change the bed because I've been sweating all night, but <laughs> I'm kind of thinking what's the point if I'm going to be sweating again tonight. It's dry, isn't it? But I'm just feeling a bit gutted that I'm poorly because I wanted to, you know, I was being really productive. I'm just going to chill. I need to save my energy. So I'm going to try and not overwhelm myself with stuff and get plenty of rest. Something I really need to work on is looking after myself properly because I actually logged on to work and overwhelmed myself, hence the crying. Um, I was also just thinking about my dad. <laughs> I actually went back to bed. I thought this is ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know why I do that to myself. Just fucking... Log off, look after yourself. I 
think it's because <laughs> mum and dad, they brought us up to have good work ethics, which isn't a bad thing, but fuck you now. I've gone too far with it. <laughs> like I always do. I always go too, go too far with things. I need to find balance. I need to look after myself. Put me first. <laughs> Wow, what a week. <laughs> that went downhill, didn't it? Well, thank you for watching my video, especially if you made it this far. <laughs> um, if you've got any advice or want to connect or whatever, please do reach out. I've taken on board a lot of things this week, so I will be recording myself, working on them, and hopefully starting to see some progress. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week.